at the Columbus, Ohio John Glenn Airport waiting for a flight to Chicago where I'll be speaking tomorrow. TSA guy asks me how I'm doing. I say I'm wonderful. How are you? And he says, live in the dream. And if you say live in the dream when you're asked how you're doing, you are absolutely not living the dream. The only sales guide you'll ever need at six months old, 100 reviews. Looks like an average of just about 4.9 stars out of five. That's because one person gave me a one because they believe that someone else originated the line. Selling is not something you do to someone, but for someone and with someone because uh, one of their favorite authors has a similar quote. And so does Zig Ziglar, by the way. And a Sandler trainer was kind enough to give me a two star only because I recommend so many other books. And uh, I think he was trying to make a point about his strong belief in the Sandler system and not so much about my book. But that said, 100 reviews at the six month mark looks pretty good. 4.9, pretty happy with that. But I gotta push this book because book two, The Lost Art of Closing, is right around the corner, releasing August 8th. And we're gonna push that book really hard like we did this one. Today I spend time in one of my businesses making decisions and making changes. And if you're a leader, one of the things that you're charged with doing is making decisions. And what this means is that you have to look at things and decide if something is not generating the results that I want it or need it to generate, why isn't that being done? And then you have to look and say, is it the strategy's wrong? Is it that the tactical choice that we're making to do this thing is wrong? Or is it simply the execution is wrong? The execution isn't happening even though the strategy is right? Or is it that the people who are trying to get this outcome can't complete this outcome for some reason and there's an obstacle that I don't understand? Or do I not have the right people on that job? But this is what a leader does. A leader looks and you, you think through the problem to come up with what seems like the very best choice you can make to improve the results that you have. And there's never a guarantee that what you do is going to work. If you change the strategy, that may or may not work. If you change the tactics, that may or may not work. If you execute, you may still not get the result that you want. And that means that what you're doing at some level is wrong. And maybe there's something that you don't understand about what your people are trying to do and how they're trying to do it, that if you understood it better, you could figure out how to do it. You could figure out what they needed to do to be able to produce the outcome that you need them to. But today for me was a day about making decisions and saying what we're doing here now isn't working. It's not generating the right results. It's not generating the results fast enough. And that means things have to change. And so I always look at it through the, the, the lens that says, first of all, I'm responsible for this. And it's something that I've overlooked. I haven't given people the mindset. I haven't given them the skill set. I haven't given them the toolkits. They're good people. They're trying hard. But there's something that I don't know or understand that when I understand it, I'll be able to help them. So that was my day plus this trip to Chicago where I'll spend uh, tomorrow speaking to a group of leaders before I head back to Columbus and then off to Orlando later on. I'm Anthony Anarino. Hit the subscribe button. This is Everyday.